Welcome to Bill's Bridge Class, Thursday, August 1st, 2013, Class 118, Introduction to 2 over 1. 2 over 1 has been around for a long time. There are proponents who go by it and those who hate it. There are definite advantages and disadvantages in using 2 over 1, but you need to at least understand it and decide for yourself and your partnership whether to use 2 over 1. Also, there are variations within 2 over 1. We'll try to cover the overall perspective today. Here is the basic concept of 2 over 1. After an opening bid of one of a suit in first or second position, an intervening pass, and a suit bid by responder at the 2 level without a jump, a game force is in effect. Why do 2 over 1? Proponents of 2 over 1 will tell you that Partnerships can comfortably describe the hand without fear of being passed and that they will end up in better contracts by keeping the bidding level low. However, it comes with a little bit of expense, which we'll see shortly. How do you implement 2 over 1? When partner opens one diamond, one heart, or one spade, in first or second position and you have less than an opening bid, you can't bid a new suit at the two level because that would force the partnership to gain. Therefore, the response of one no trump to a major must be expanded to include hands of up to 12 high card points. When is two over one not in effect? Well, first of all, when your partner doesn't open a dime at a heart or a spade in first or second position, which is also, if you as responder are a past hand, there's no way you can force your partner to gain. And it's also, the two over one is not in effect if the opener's left-hand opponent bids or doubles. Questions and answers. What happens if the opponents intervene after a 2 over 1 game force is in effect? The partnership has to decide what to do. They either penalize the opponents or they bid game or slam. They cannot allow the opponents to play in a contract undoubled because they know they can make game based on the bidding. What are the advantages? We kind of touched on some. As we get to some examples, you'll see well, they're obvious. There are several. First of all, both partners can describe their hands without fear of being passed. Oftentimes, if you don't play two over one at your second opportunity of bidding, or perhaps your third, you are unable to tell everything about your hand with one bid. And if you do, the bid may not be forcing, and the result is your partner will pass and you'll miss a game. You want to be sure to be in game. Also, there's no need to jump. In fact, jumping tells your partner something specific in regards to slam. It shows a, an independent suit, basically. So it has a specific meaning. It's not showing points. It's showing suit quality. And most importantly, there's more accuracy in game and slam bidding. You will end up in the better game or slam contract if you play two over one. What are the disadvantages of 2 over 1? Part scores. First of all, you need to make a 1 no trump response to a major suit opening as forcing or semi-forcing. This may result occasionally where you will play in 2 of a minor or 3 of a minor where you do better to play in 1 no trump or 2 of a major 
or even one of a major is possible. That's almost impossible, but two of a major. We'll try to minimize that, but that is the downside. Are there variations of 2 over 1? Yes, there are. Some people who play 2 over 1 allow either opener or responder's rebid of his first suit to allow the partnership to stop short of game. Most of the variations apply only to the responder's rebidding of his suit and is typically a minor suit. Another variation, one which we'll talk about shortly, is whether one no trump is forcing or semi-forcing. You have two choices, and we'll discuss that in the next session, actually. Question. Where is 2 over 1 on the ACBL convention card? Answer. It's actually in two places. It is under general approach, checked as 2 over 1. It's either game forcing or the alternative, game forcing except when a suit is rebid. Also notice that forcing or semi-forcing one no trump is in the major opening section. Not necessarily indicating two over one because some people still play one no trump forcing or semi-forcing, but they go together. It's hard to have one without the other. Also notice that one no forcing or semi-forcing is in blue, which means you announce them. It's not alertable, but you announce forcing or semi-forcing. There is a brief overview of 2 over 1. Tomorrow we're going to look at examples as to the advantages of using 2 over 1. See you tomorrow.